Konnichiwa, it's Koneko here, and for today's video, I'd like to talk to you about Sailor Moon. But before we get into that, if you're new here and you like this sort of content, be sure to hit the subscription bar. I am a huge Sailor Moon fan, and I have been ever since I was little. I probably don't know as much about Sailor Moon as a lot of hardcore fans do, but I wanted to make this video showing my love for Sailor Moon. I want to start off by showing this lovely wand that I made out of Fimo clay. It is broken, unfortunately. I'm not sure where the piece went. I think I put it somewhere safe where I wouldn't forget it so that I could super glue it back on. Can I find it again? Nope. <laughs> but yeah, so I have always wanted to buy the Sailor Moon and Cardcaptor Sakura wands and have never been able to, whether it's money or having a hard time finding them. Um, going online, I know it's quite easy to find them, but the Canadian dollar sucks. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and make a Fimo clay one. The Fimo clay did still cost a fair amount, but I was making a lot of Fimo crafts back when I made this, um, quite a few years ago now, maybe three or so. And with the Fimo clay, you just put it all together and then you bake it in the oven. Um, the first one, I did two runs. The first one, I put it in for too long and it burnt. <laughs> so definitely look up the instructions when doing this stuff and pay attention to how your oven works. It's not perfect, it is definitely bumpy, and like you can see my fingers and whatnot, there's marks on it, but it's still super cute and pink and Sailor Moon themed, so I absolutely love it. I also have a variety of pendants that can be put on um, this chain. I don't have them all out, but I am wearing one of my favorite wands and I'm wearing this super cute pastel art design Sailor Moon from Spree Picky and I love 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 pastel donuts and Sailor Moon and donuts is amazing <laughs> I have um, a Sailor Moon pop figure that is up there. I have a wand that is um, a selfie stick and Luna came with the pop vinyl of Sailor Moon. In my other room I have a few miniature like chibi figures. I have a um, pop figure of Tuxedo Mask, Sailor Moon Cup, little other figures in bits and bobs. Um, which I'll probably have inserted some pictures um, as I've been mentioning them because the main thing that I wanted to do in this video is try out this Sailor Moon tag that I found on DeviantArt. Now I had a hard time finding Sailor Moon tag. There was a Sailor Moon book tag which maybe I'll do another time but I was kind of looking for more of a I don't know, generic or broader um, Sailor Moon tag so that I can kind of like share some information about myself and Sailor Moon and growing up with Sailor Moon. If you know of a different tag than this, please um, leave a link in the comment section below or like something that I could type into Google anything um, but for now I'm gonna use this and maybe this is one of the better ones out there I got my laptop with my Sailor Moon sticker on here that I got from Anna Maritime and the first question is when did you start watching Sailor Moon I've been watching Sailor Moon for as long as I can remember 
Um, I was born in 1992, which is, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, when it came over to like North America on like, you know, TV. So I just remember watching it as a kid on TV and um, my mom can correct me on this one if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I was quite obsessed with it and Power Rangers. Although I don't really care for Power Rangers anymore, the newer movie was good. Um, but yeah, I was definitely watching Sailor Moon and Cardcaptor Sakura on TV as a kid. And I remember watching it when I was in North Bay, which is where I was born. And I was there until about fourth grade. So who was your favorite character when you were younger? So my favorite Sailor Moon character when I was younger was Sailor Moon and I have a habit of almost always sticking with my favorites from my childhood. I don't know why, I'm just very like adamant, adamant about sticking with favorites and stuff. Like my favorite color, favorite number is usually the same even if I show like almost more of an interest for another color let's say. like. I will still always call that favorite color that I had as a kid, like my favorite color, like blue, I'll just say blue is my favorite color when like it's more of like either a mint green sometimes or a teal sometimes and I have, you know, lately really loved pink. But I'll still usually say like blue or teal as my favorite color, for example. Because I do remember at one point really, really loving Sailor Mercury. Maybe because she was blue, but I've always just really loved Sailor Moon. And I really love cosplaying Sailor Moon, so I think she was my favorite character. Um, and then the next question is who's your favorite character currently and it's still Sailor Moon. Which characters form your favorite friendship? I find it funny um, Sailor Moon and Sailor Mars's interactions and how their friendship kind of plays out. It might be my favorite because I think it's the funniest and I love like the whole like you know, cosplaying as Sailor Moon and somebody Sailor Mars and, you know, doing like kind of pair photo shoots would kind of be like ideal to me. Like I'd love to do that with somebody in the future. If you cosplay Sailor Mars. What canon couple is your favorite? I'm gonna go so basic and I don't know, cliche on this, I guess, but it's Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> Who is the prettiest slash most handsome character? Um, I think, you know, the an anime style is just pretty in general, especially Sailor Moon Crystal. I, the art style is just really gorgeous, but I still really think that the old school Sailor Moon style is super gorgeous as well. I think, like, one character from the main scouts that I think is the prettiest me like I, a part of me wants to say Sailor Moon because I love Sailor Moon but I think maybe Sailor Jupiter for this one and then outside of the like the main scouts I think it would be Sailor Neptune I really love her hair though <laughs> and color so um most handsome I'm just gonna go with tuxedo mask he's he's the main main guy that I like in Sailor Moon that I always thought you know was like the cutest like I don't really care for most of the other male characters I know a lot of people are just like what <laughs> right now but who is your favorite villain probably the main the main like girl I'm sorry if I say her name barrel Bar barrel people like who watch my videos are gonna kill me <laughs> for pronunciation on like anything like when I mess up um, the Japanese name of my favorite absolute favorite anime Ao no Exorcist and I without thinking if I'm just rambling on will say Ao, be Ao no Ex which I know I know it's wrong I know it's wrong but it's just like the English coming back in when I like think of those letters together who is your favorite outer senshi member so 
um, not like the main group, which is Sailor Neptune, because pretty. Who is your favorite inner sens senshi member? Sailor Moon. Who is your favorite secondary character? Sailor Mercury. Who is the best dressed scout? Maybe Sailor Neptune because I, I love her colors and her hair and everything. Manga or anime? Well, I grew up with like the anime and I don't read a lot of manga right now as it is and definitely didn't um, before I met my fiance like at all. I think I'd have to go for anime. Sailor Moon episodes subbed or dubbed? Well, you see, growing up with it dubbed because I was, you know, a little kid, I kind of got used to the voice actresses and actors in the original. Um, I watch it, my anime sub now. Um, most of the time I can't handle dubbed at all, but for the original Sailor Moon, when I rewatched it in high school, yes, I rewatched Sailor Moon in high school. Um, no, I don't think all of it, uh, most of it I did. And if I were to rewatch the original, it would have to be dubbed just because I'm so used to their voices being that way. But with Sailor Moon Crystal, like I kind of um, get past that because it looks a bit different and slightly different. What is the funniest Sailor Moon moment? <laughs> Probably any moment between Sailor Moon and Sailor Mars. I'm just gonna go with that because I can't think of like a main thing off the top of my head. I'm sorry. What scout are you the most like? I'm not sure. Maybe Sailor Moon because I can be quite a crybaby but like I when push comes to shove, I do stand up or try to stand up for like my friends and family and I really do care about people. I just, you know, kind of am lazy and like I just need sometimes a push to get started and you know, being insecure about yourself here and there. I, I feel like, you know, some of these traits are really within a few scouts. Um, I'm just gonna go with Sailor Moon. What scout are you the least like? Probably Sailor Mars. I don't think I have like really like a temper or anything and I'm not really like, you know, gung-ho into action, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just don't think I'm very much like her, which, you know, I don't think, I think Sailor Moon and Sailor Mars are quite opposites in some way and that's kind of why they fight and bicker a little bit and so I feel like I would kind of you know I see myself as the same way. Senshi or Starlight? Senshi. What is your favorite moon cat? Luna. I love Luna so much when my grandparents got a dog and I was living with them in high school I named it the dog Luna just because I really loved the name and the dog was all black. I was close to naming my current black cat Loki. I was gonna name him Luna but he's a boy so I was like nah like I mean I could have but I decided to go with Loki and I think that suits him very well. And there we are. So I did skip over a few questions. Um, I'm not sure how long this video will end up being when I edit it either, so maybe I could have thrown in a few extra questions. But again, I'll leave the link down below if you want like the full questions that were there. And it does specify that it's mainly um, taking into consideration the like original Sailor Moon series. So that's what I based pretty much all my answers off of. And I haven't really watched a lot of Sailor Moon Crystal. It is pretty. I do love Sailor Moon. But as far as obsessions and fandoms come, there are a few other fandoms that you will see soon enough that are a bit more prompt 
predominant in my life these days. But I would love to know if you are a fellow Mooney, if you agree with any of my answers or what your answers would be. Leave all of that in the comments section below. Again, my knowledge on Sailor Moon is not perfect. But I do love Sailor Moon. I love how magical it is. I grew up with it, so it has a special place in my heart. <laughs> as corny as that may seem. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you liked this video. I try to post a video every Wednesday, Saturday, and 